Okay guys, just a quick look at a new tool that I built. Um, basically this tool is, is built because of this um, post here from a guy called Doug Cunnington. Um, what he's done is he's, he's come up with a, a formula for keyword research that can get rankings within about 24 hours and you don't need any backlinks, okay? Um, the way he's done this is actually very clever. Now I remember there was uh, a lady being interviewed. I'm not sure if it was from this guy or from um, Niche Pursuit website, but the lady was making five figures per month um, because she was targeting keywords that nobody else was targeting. Okay, and the reason they were they were not targeting is because the volume, the search volume, was kind of low according to the keyword research tools, which are not always accurate, by the way. Um, so I think this kind of falls into the same. Um, broad formula where he's targeting not such high volume searched um, keywords okay so his formula is that you get the number of all entitled results divided by the search volume and this will give you a keywords golden ratio okay keyword golden ratio as he called it here okay so what you want to do is get a result that is 0 0.25 percent now he provides a tool um, that helps you to do that it's a google sheet that helps you to do that but what's missing is that you have to go and find all entitled results number yourself so that means one by one you have to go into Google and you have to type in like uh, like this for example all entitled then keyword research and SEO the only thing is you're not going to put any brackets in here okay so you type that in and you can see it's got 6100 search results that's a very competitive one okay um, but as we start to go down more and more um, with the keyword research keywords that you've got from a keyword tool for example um, then you start to get these opportunities and they come under the 0.25 percent okay so you can see all entitled 63 85 31 5 at the same time the monthly searches are all under 250 so we can find these keyword opportunities and all we need to do is really find about 10 or, or 20 of these for a particular campaign and the idea is in my 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 thinking anyway is that you will create one piece of content that has got multiple of these KGR friendly um, keywords within it so that you can drive traffic straight away into your blog post or into your review post whatever it might be landing page or whatever um, while you are still targeting a more competitive keyword okay so you, you will get that initial traffic now here's what happens here's where it, where it gets interesting for me and this is the real value of this um, beyond I think it's a brilliant strategy I'm not taking away from strategy but I think um, not enough people realize what's actually happening here this is the real beauty of this strategy is that when you start to get that traffic coming in for those less competitive keywords the amount of time spent, the interaction, maybe the, the, the time spent on the site, if you've got Google Analytics there, Google can see that people are clicking through the search results into that content and staying there, okay? That's a user behavior signal, it's a ranking factor. So both the CTR, the click-through rate, and the time spent on that particular post is important. That will start to help you to rank for more competitive keywords because you're getting positive users, user behavior signals. Now, of course, it really does come down to whether your content does fit that particular keyword research query. So if, I'm, if I have a post about the best keyword research tools for 2020 and I don't have anything about keyword research tools, I've just got a, some article about keyword research, then people are going to bounce off and think, why did I go there? Why did Google show me that result? Google doesn't like that, so it's going to start to drop your rankings and you're never going to rank for that kind of keyword again, okay? Because it can see that people are just not spending time on your website when they have clicked through from the search engine for that particular key query. Also, the quality of the content that will, will de determine if people will stay there um, and Google can pick up that information as well and think, okay, so we're sending people from that search query over to this particular page and people are staying there, people are interacting, they're doing social shares, they're commenting, whatever it might be, okay? Um, time spent on site, that kind of thing. That is a positive user behavior signal plus in the combination with the CTR and the click-through rate from the search engine, this is good, okay? So Google rewards you and it starts to rank you higher. And if you have done your keyword research right, even for the more competitive keywords, 
okay you will have some topic optimization happening there with your subheadlines in different parts of your content okay so for example you could be talking about keyword research and you could be talking about the best key, best software for keyword research and then you could have another paragraph that's all about um, best keyword research strategies for 2020 then you could have another paragraph that's talking about um, keyword research for Amazon products or Amazon affiliates all of them are subtopics around the keyword research um, main sort of topic all subtopics so Google can rank you for multiple keywords that way as well as well as the KGR keywords okay so that's the way we need to optimize that's what I see when I see the strategy so when I had to look at this of course like everybody else and all the black hat forms we all went looking for a tool that does the, the, the ball column one there was one that called um, that was called I love page one it's no longer available anymore okay um, there's another one that popped up recently the he charges per, per credits okay you can put in $150 and get a bunch of credits and stuff like that um, he does have less cost options of course but I decided let's just build the tool that we want to build here so that we can do this properly okay so what we've got here is a tool that you can put in um, thousands of keywords absolutely thousands of keywords you can see here I've got 1839 keywords in here it's going to pull back the all in title count for you in bulk it's going to pull back the all in URL in bulk you can put in um, according to your CPC and stuff like that as well now watch what happens here this is where it's really cool in my, my opinion if I go and click on import CSV Okay, I'm going to start a new campaign. I'm not going to actually click on start a new campaign. I'm just going to click on this. Okay. And look what happens. Now I'm going to maximize this so you can see it. So I've got a CSV that I got from a keyword tool. It doesn't matter what keyword tool. It doesn't matter what format it's in. What keyword column. Uh, what column has got the keywords. What column has got the um, search volume, etc. It doesn't matter. Here's why. You can give this... Um, a name. I don't know what this one is about, so I'm just going to call this one HC Keywords just for now. Okay. Then I can click on this and it's pulled back all the columns that I have in that CSV for me to be able to choose which one is the keyword column here. Okay, the search result has the keywords. Which one is the cost per click? This one has the cost per click. Which one has um, the monthly search volume? This one has the volume. So it doesn't matter what format or what keyword tool you, you, you have exported from, you go through this same process so that you can just click and add that and it pulls this all in. Okay, so then you can just check box all, make sure your proxies are working. Okay, make sure your proxies are working. I use squid proxies. I don't mess about with um, shared proxies. Use squid private proxies. It will do you good in the long run. And you can just start the, to click the processing and, and let it go and do its work. Okay. It's going to take time, obviously, because there's a whole bunch of keywords. Some of these have got like 1,800 keywords that will go through and do all of them, and it will come back. Anything green is a KGR-friendly keyword. Okay, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Nice for us to be able to do that. Now, let's come back over to Doug's post because give the guy credit. He's, he, he walks the walk. He's you know got a whole bunch of people that are you know making money from this. Okay, so he's talking about this person here. Um, with the keyword golden ratio it's hitting 4,000 to um, 4,000 a month and 8,000 a month he even tells you as you go down here if you read this page which is niche site project.com um, hold on here we go sorry I'm on the wrong page that was a FAQ page you can get to that from this one okay um, as you scroll down here you can start to see some success stories and you can see that this guy is making money using just this strategy okay exactly this strategy and how it works and how it happens so he's talking about how many posts he has done and he's talking about how it affected the income it's talking about how much money he was making so you know in an Amazon affiliate site made about hundred dollars in um, January 2016 by December 2016, using just this strategy, it's making $14,819 a month. Now you can take that to flipper.com, you can expect to make big bucks for that if you sell it. If it's making over 10 or 14,000 a month, 10,000 a month, 5,000 a month, multiply it, multiply it by 12, that's the money you're gonna get. That's big money, very big money, okay? So you can get a hold of this software by clicking the link underneath this video. Thanks for watching.